Hi, it's been a while since my last video where I fought a Seagate 750 gig external USB 2 drive with a kitchen knife. If you missed the point why I was doing that, well, it was for the two reasons. First, the original controller is sleepy, meaning when it goes to sleep it takes forever to wake up. The second is that the USB 2 interface is much slower than the newer USB 3. So the idea was to replace the USB 2 with the newer USB 3. The main problem is that the drive is 15mm thick which is impossible to fit into any 2.5 inches case because all the cases of that size are very thin. So I had to find any USB 3 case with a printed circuit board that would fit the Seagate case. In this video I will show you how to properly open the case and how to build in a new USB 3 interface and that's because I found a matching donor and that is this guy here. And now let's start with the proper way of opening the case. First you have to remove the front rubber pads. Then remove the screws that are underneath. Then remove the cover using a plastic spudger tool that can be found on the eBay for opening and taking stuff apart. Now it should open without breaking all the plastic hooks that hold the two pieces together. screws, remove the top shield and take the drive off. Now we come to the interesting part, replacing the circuitry. After a long search I found this Shark One Quick Store Portable USB 3.0. You can find it in stores for less than 30 bucks. It has a circuitry that almost perfectly fits inside the original Seagate case. When you remove the back cover you will see the six metal clips holding the front plate. Straighten them carefully and the front will come off. Now we see the PCB that we will move to the Seagate case. Unfortunately, the two PCBs don't have their drive connectors perfectly aligned, so we will have to lose the metal shield. But when we do that and connect it to the drive, the whole thing will fit perfectly inside the original CD box. The trickiest part is to drill and file a hole exactly in the place where the new connector should be. Finally, you can use some hot glue to hold the new piece in place. And you may want to close the original connector hole to prevent stuff from getting in and making a short circuit. So that's pretty much it. 
Enjoy your new Seagate USB 3 powered drive and stay tuned for the new gadget hacks.